Hey, what's going on guys? Priest here with Denim13 Gaming. Bringing you a little walkthrough guide. Darksiders 2, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to take on the Guardian. Now as the screen says, I warn you I show the before and after cutscenes of this little boss fight, so you've been warned. Maker's bones. I'd have to. It's beyond my help, horseman. Do your worst. And here we see the Corrupted Guardian. Now this guy is a little bit more intimidating than he actually is. It's not too bad. He's got two uh, waves of, of offense. The first one you're going to see here. You simply want to jump on your horse and when he swings his hammer, you want to charge in towards him and then cut a hard left under the hammer, go into aim mode, half turn back, shoot the, uh, the exploding pods on his arm, and uh, then you'll get to this spot. You just want to use your grappling ability to get up onto the uh, heartstone and hit it a few times, and then rinse and repeat. Uh, he doesn't vary his attacks very much at all. It's a little underwhelming uh, once you figure out how to do it. Um, I am playing this run through on normal difficulty, so I only had to do each of these waves two times, meaning I only had to just destroy his arm and attack uh, the Hearthstone twice. Um, now, if that changes with harder difficulties, I'm not sure. Um, now on to wave two. Wave two, after you've destroyed the right arm, the left arm will shoot these giant exploding pods. All you want to do is ride your horse around, and uh, shoot at the pod until it starts to uh, glow bright and look like it's about to detonate and then uh, just try to catch him in the blast by putting uh, him right in the middle between you and the exploding pod and then you just want to scale his arm grapple over to the heartstone wag it a few times rinse and repeat and um, even though you had to collect three heart stones to bring the guardian to life, you only have to destroy two. The third one you'll see uh, gets destroyed in the cutscene. Uh, pretty much typical video game philosophy here. You spend five hours of your life trying to bring something to life, and the minute you do, it tries to kill you, and then you have to spend 45 minutes of your life trying to kill it. But uh, you're going to just want to rinse and repeat, shoot the pod, I kind of get whacked here a little bit, but it's okay. It's only normal difficulty. And bam. Then you just want to ride over to his left arm. Wall run. Up the peg. Onto the beam. Grapple over. Take a couple more whacks at it. Bam, and there you got it. You have to keep the guardian. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Stay tuned for today. I'm going to have a bunch more Dark Siders 2 content. Now I uh, enjoy the uh, aftermath.
You had no choice but to destroy him, horseman. Yet if the path to the Tree of Life is to be cleared, I have no choice but to bring him back. How many times would you have me kill him? The Guardian will be as a newborn, free of corruption. Now, stand aside. This will take more than a small effort. You won't survive this! I am a maker! That task defines my very purpose! As the reaping of souls defines your own! There is no escaping it! Get to the tree now, Horseman. Your journey is far from over.